Today, we're gonna to talk about multiple sources of income and how you survive during bad times. As you see, I got a car lot, I got a mechanic shop, I got an import business, and now, I have a tow truck. One might say, is that the same guy who worked for Uber a year ago? Yes, I am the same guy who busts my ass 20 hours a day to get where I am. I am the same guy who knows what the hell I'm talking about. I am the same guy who one time had it all, multiple car lots in Florida and Arkansas, lost it all due to bad decisions. I am the same guy. Most people out there would say, oh man, you came back up from your failures. Failures? I haven't had no failures. I've had learning experiences. I had a whole bunch of learning experiences. My businesses didn't fail because I didn't know how to hustle cars. I didn't know how to buy and sell cars. I am the fucking king of that shit. My business has failed because I let other people in who didn't deserve to be in and made them my partners for nothing. That is what crumbled my business. Bad business decisions. Those are learning experiences. And that is why I'm here after only a year a year of the car lot being open. First it was the car lot, then it was the mechanic shop, then it was the import business. And now I'm trying my hand at a tow company once more. So why do I make these videos? Maybe to give a big F you to all my haters out there who love to see me going through hard times. <laughs> Maybe a little. But I make these videos to show people there's life after learning experiences. And what do I mean by learning experiences? Well, some consumers may call it failures. But I'm a producer. So they're learning experiences to me. I love helping people and I love showing people there's life after some bullshit and maybe you are down right now maybe you are struggling right this second but no no there's life after this and it gets better and you will have it better than what you had it before ever before you will have it much better and you're much happier you're much stronger and you're a lot wiser. So what else is this video about? Well, I mean, this is the whole point why I made this video. Because someone asked me, Rick, tell us what to do during hard times. Tell us. We need to know how to survive during hard times. What do we need to do? Multiple sources of income. Maybe all your multiple sources of income may drop. That's okay. But you have multiple sources of income. And all those income creates one very good income that you're not going to struggle with. Now mine, car lot. The steady money all the time. Steady. It's great money. Mechanic shop. No matter how the economy is, the used car lot and the mechanic shop is always going to be good. The used car lot may slow down during a super bad economy, but the mechanic shop may thrive. Because 
no one wants a new car they can't afford it so they have to fix their car use it for a couple more years that's where the mechanic shop comes in the import business the import business is very very good and it may not be what you think it is what you think it is where oh my god the economy has crashed no one's going to buy these expensive cars. Well, the people who buy these cars, they have money. They have good money. They're executives at Walmart. They're ex executive people all over the country are people that makes good money and will always make good money during the good or bad times. And if they want a car, they will buy a car. The import business is probably the biggest money maker I have. And that's why I'm trying to get back to Europe to do it more. It needs to be absolutely a full-time thing. And then you have this tow truck. This is a hundred over a hundred thousand dollar tow truck, 2022. Low miles. I bought it because I want to try out the tow business. How in the hell can you afford this truck just to try out something? Well, you bought it good. It may be a hundred thousand dollar truck, but it's worth a hundred and thirty. If you buy it right, you buy it right. You can test it out. The tow business works out. Great. We keep the truck. We keep on making money. Tow business don't work out or breaks even the truck is gone make thirty thousand dollars try out new stuff if you have multiple sources of income guess what you can afford to try out other things and that's what I am doing but I feel that around here tow truck will will do it <laughs> now the insurance is about eleven thousand dollars per year uh, and that's pennies that's beans compared to what you could make and we're gonna see and I'm gonna report it to you if it's not as good as I thought or if it is uh, breaking even tow truck is gone try something else but you always wanna invest in you invest in your ideas invest in other people's ideas that will work for you and that is how you survive bad times guys if you want to get into the import business i have a training program i have a seminar that you can go watch if you want to get into the car business car business is a great place to be in if you listen to me if you do exactly what I say, import business is a fantastic business to get into. If you follow me and do what I say to do, buy the cars that I say to buy, the import business will make you a lot of money. And that's why I have importcoolcars.com I charge a fee to take you to Europe or Japan and show you how to buy cars, the right cars do the paperwork skip the middleman and make you a bunch of money now quit being a daydreamer quit dreaming quit saying you're going to do this next month or next year because the time is is now build up money make your life successful and then you can do other things import cool cars we're going to leave in about a month month and a half uh, for our new adventure and I guarantee you if you listen to what I say do what I want you to do when we're there buy what I want you to buy when we're there you will make a ton of freaking money thanks guys uh, 
I really appreciate the support. I really appreciate the emails that I'm getting, the texts I'm getting. I really appreciate that. And I really appreciate y'all's motivation. Change your life. Don't just sit there or lie down and die. Do something about it. Life gets better. Trust me. Thank you.